today but generations after we left school that they they are still implementing uh, uh, the, the policy, the implementing the directive of that secular. It has not come, it's yet to come out. They say there is a secular. It's a secular on the campus that people should stop praying in the night. It's an act of terrorism. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. We didn't go. We said death. Death will be the result of this meeting. So when they saw that we were speaking as if we, are, we were drunk, the security people had to leave us alone. And we continued the prayers. Continued the prayers. Continued the prayers. A time came because the first set of people we were praying with that were my seniors graduated. So we were now saddled with the responsibility of pushing the prayer fire. We prayed for like three, two sessions. That's two academic years. Two sessions. Something happened. 5 a.m. in the morning. It rained that night, so sleep was very sweet. After we finished the 12 midnight prayer, I, I stationed my own prayer for 5 a.m. in the morning. My own personal prayer. So rain fell. And sleep was sweet because there was the, 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 the once very hot land was chilled with good breeze. I woke up by 5 o'clock. The Holy Ghost woke me up. But I saw the breeze. And I went back to sleep. Then something happened. The angel of the Lord he held my hand like this. Then when I woke up, he removed the hand. I went back to sleep. He held the hand again. When I woke up, he removed the hand. I went back again. Then he held my hand this time. When I woke up, the hand still held me. Until we reached prayer room. 5 a.m. in the morning. The place was dark. He held my hand till we reached in fact, I was so afraid to look at the hand. Whether when he held it, you could see that some of the flesh pressed in. I, was, I didn't bother to. I just... To. And what the Lord was saying was that you people have been disturbing me for two years. You can't say you will sleep now. That was the day the Holy Spirit gave me a hug. It came like a wind. My, my encounter with power began that day. Yes. That was when my eyes... Now, in the build-up of what we are, you know, prayer is not people don't like prayer. God, they say, God, these people now they'll be doing like the <laughs> but there is a day that your investment in prayer will attract heaven's visitation. May you not be sleeping that day. Five a.m. in the morning, and that's what the Lord told me because I aboho the aboho that I told you about yesterday. He failed me in his course. So I had an extra year. God, that was where he spoke to me that night. I'm giving you something this night that your mates that graduated and left before you will never have. This is 20 something years from the time that word was like 17 years from the 17 or thereabout years from the time that word was where oh, Y2K now. That's 18 years. 18 years now. And what he said. We have, um, I have seen it now, it's true. It was not less true 18 years ago. The Holy Spirit hugged me. And you know what? We prayed for two academic sessions. But in the day when he came to hug, I was the only one that was in the prayer room. Those were prayer meetings we held. Sometimes there were 40 people. Sometimes 37 people. We prayed wild tongues. That the, the security, their delicate balance was disrupted. They tried to stop the civilization. But the day all our initiatives attracted heaven's attention and heaven decided to deploy a personnel, I was the only one in the prayer. Maybe that was when I received mercy from heaven. Many things I don't know. But there's one thing I know. I will never stop praying. I made many mistakes, but this one was one thing I got right. People in my family say, you will never amount to anything. People say, if you take this road, you will not arrive. All the awards were lies. My uncle.